we cannot surrender our province to criminals hey panyaza lisof window tapanyaza lisof window tapanyaza lisof yar the man said it we cannot surrender our province to criminal now you will remember that uh, the same panyaza lisof right um was seen wearing a wearing a t-shirt written do not kill krizane again you, you you can see that there's uh the, the look what, i'm looking for this uh, english word there to describe that situation but you can see that it's a figurative speech but this figurative speech is as true as possible right that do not kill krizane krizane again if you are a christian when you sin for you to understand this when you sin uh they often say you are crucifying jesus again because jesus died for you not to sin not to continue in sin but to repent so if you continue in sin therefore you are crucifying jesus again in other words uh, simply put when you repeat or when you put us back into the situation for what krizane died for you are basically killing krizane again that is what panyaza lesufi said and he's like no we're not going to sell our, we're not going to look put our look uh, you're not going to sell our province to these thieves i like the, the 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 tone i like the language because it's the very same language that the same ta is been using and uh, there's something that i liked about upanyaza uh, lesufi guys uh, the the way he's so diplomatic in his speech but very direct in this at the same time diplomatic yet direct he never said uh da and, and, and ff plus this this he only gave you a hint in the speech if you have listened i'm gonna make you listen to the video right he gave you a hint without saying anything and uh, you know i was listening to this man i was like this man is now look this man is matured enough to get into the presidential seat and lead this country because what 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 counts is the maturity uh, like we need the aggression but the aggression must be must be embodied by immaturity you know i said you don't just speak and they, yeah i'm gonna kill you no 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 no. you speak diplomatic if you speak diplomatic but you still sound an uh, agent and you still have you know, possess the sense of arrogance the way panyaza lesofi speaks guys yeah <laughs> Yer, yer, yer. <laughs> this guy is gonna this guy this, the way this guy speaks i can tell you this this guy is a president this guy no 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 give panyaza lisofi his flowers panyaza lisofi speaks like a president i'm telling you uh, guys please please make no mistake give the man his flowers while he's still alive he might be on the anc you probably an mk you probably an a an eff but let's talk about uh what he does he, the merit of his actions right i think the merits itself i on merits guys no give this guy a credit give this guy a credit yar inja he came in the way he speaks yar yar that's exactly how a president should sound yo but unfortunately that the current president sounds like something else wait I don't want you to sound like a the current president. Sound like this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people, because to subscribe it is free, to like the video it is free, to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge, to click the notification bell it is free of charge, to share this video it is free of charge, to watch this video until the end it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean come on, to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this youtube channel speaking about financially contribution to the channel you can join become a member of this youtube channel from as little as 20 rand a month you can also uh, use the super thanks party in case you don't want to do that guys there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel and you know what i'm saying will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed so okay, guys um uh, you know you know i had uh look just by what panyaza lesufi said here uh it just gave me something else but let me tell you this just prior to the elections uh in my church there was a church conference of some sort uh where a lot of people were gathered together so these political parties were there even panyaza lusufi was there i was listening to the report given by my fellow church mates you know what they said about panyaza lusufi 
They said that guy is the most intelligent guy out of everybody that went to speak. They said, Banyaza Lisufi is the most intelligent guy. They said that guy, he never said vote for us. He never said something, like, never said vote for ANC. But how he said it, you will read it in between the line that, you know, I need to vote for the ANC. You know what I'm saying? The way he went about it, the people who were giving me feedback, they were like, yeah. the way Panyaza Lesofe went about this, it's completely different. He never told us about his political party voting for them, but really the man told us that we should vote for him without saying vote for them. That's what they said. Yar, that guy is very gifted in how he went about it and uh, uh, the, the, the intelligence in, in terms of structuring your speech to talk to people. Yar, they were, they, a lot of people were impressed. Well, let's start here. He speaks about people. Or in fact, we'll end up with the people, right? This is where he was talking about not surrendering this province to criminals. He said this. We embraced ourselves to say, regardless of the limitation of the outcome, we will defend what Chris Han stood for. But you go to negotiations and have other political parties that their mission is to kill the ANC. Their mission is to eliminate the ANC. The voters might have said what they've said. But to kill the ANC will never happen. As long as some of us still breathe, as long as some of us still are still members of the African National Congress, Chris Han will never die. Even if voters have thrown us in the lion's den with some of this organization, that hate transformation, some of this organization that still glorify an apartheid flag, some of the organization that still wants Orani and other institutions. We said for the sake of our citizens, for the sake of the poor, for the sake of the weaknesses, we'll dust ourselves and try to form a government of national unity. Regardless of that, we have been bullied, we have been insulted by political parties that have no credence whatever to build a non-racial transformative society. Let me and ask if you. they think they can kill Chris Hane again. We are the last line to defend that. And it will never happen. I always say, guys, I always say, if, for instance, I was an MK, right? Uh, uh, look, uh, and then I'm listening to a person from the ANC. Now, there is a conversation between the MK and the ANC, right? I always say, you don't, want, you don't have to insult me to prove your intelligence, but you need to prove your intelligence in the, within, within the debate. I always say, if I'm facing my opponent in court, right, my opponent needs to show to me, like, uh, 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 it's something that I always say in the sense of your case. I always say that, you know, I am looking for a person that is going to give, that is going to make it, that is going to make me feel like, you know what, you are on the opposition bench, but... Truth be told, if I were to look, if I were to be in a situation where I need a lawyer, despite the fact that you are sitting on an opposition bench, but you have given me um, the best of yourself so much so that you know what I know that even if I were to win this case, but I know that you gave it, I, I know that you you gave me a run for my money. That's what I always say. You are looking for from people who are good at what they do, right? Um, I wasn't fond of ANC, right? Never. Not at all. But this is me today praising Panyaza Lizufi. Why? Because the man showed leadership. The man show leadership sometimes, guys, you, you make arrogant decisions. You make tough decisions. You make and the leadership sometimes it causes you to be con confrontational. You have to be confrontational, right? But in look, you know, I always say in the sense of Mayor case, I'm not gonna name names here, I'm not gonna drop names, but I'm always gonna say. Uh, there are two or three lawyers that said the same thing in the sense of my case. Uh, I'm not going to give you more details about it, right? I'm not going to give you more clarity. But there's one lawyer in that case that said the same thing, but in a safer way. The other one said the same thing, not in a safer way. And I was like, wow, these two people said the same thing, but the difference is how they said it. That is Panyaz Ali Sufi for you. Uh, he, 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 he goes into this. He delivers something. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But very nice, and say no, 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 no. DA, you are invited. But at the same time, he says we're not gonna surrender this province to to to, to, to criminals. Yeah, <laughs> oh, it sounds contradictory, right? He tells DA, DA, you are not a special. You are not. You are. You you don't have a special blood. We, you are invited on an equal basis. If you fail to behave off from that, then forget.
if you cannot for, if you cannot reason like that if you cannot uh react like that then forget we're not gonna treat you special just because you're a da forget and smile that's leadership for you at some point the same Panyaza Lesufi was speaking about people that control this country. He says there are only three families that control this country, right? In that video, this is what Panyaza Lesufi said. The structure of our country, uh, three families are controlling everything in our country, uh, literally. Uh, what are those families? So, so uh, I don't think I've got enough bank balance to, to, to go toe to toe with them, but okay. uh, you, you all know them. Uh, okay. But they control the country. Find the banking is them, the mining is them, the transportation is them, uh, the mines uh, and everything. So my view is that, um, and those are the areas when you said, uh, is the ANC still relevant? Is the area where we need to go. We can't have three families or, 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 or 1% or, of people controlling the economy of the country. It does not work that way. So we need to really... Uh, tackle that, unpack it, and ensure that doesn't happen. Indeed, I share that view that uh, the Gupta state capture compared to the broader bigger state capture, it's it's nothing. Okay, so you can see that here you are dealing with uh, local. You can see, man, you know, um, uh, you know, Panyasa Desofa, I wasn't paying attention to him. I did not have a problem with him. Uh, you know, some of the members of the ANC, I have a problem with them. Like Fikile Balula, he's a flip flop, flip flop. Tomorrow he says this. The day, the next day he says this. You know what I'm saying? And that's why when Fikil and Balura speaks, you, you you are not you, you you know you don't have an appetite on what Fikil and Balula is going to say. You have an appetite with you, you, your appetite is. I mean, okay, okay, okay. The difference is let me re, let, let me rephrase my statement. You don't have an appetite on how Fikil and Balula is going to say what he's going to say. You know what I'm saying? The excitement and everything. You only have an appetite with the actual speech, not the man behind the speech, because he has developed something. We now know that he's a flip-flop. He's going to say this. Tomorrow is going to change and behave as if he never said this. That's a problem we have with Fikil and Balula, right? We are not saying people, who look, politicians don't lie, but we are saying you can't lie, you can't give us a blatant lie to such an extent that when you are questioned about it, then it becomes a problem to you. You, that, then we've got a problem. We, look, that's that's one of our major problems with Ufigil and Balula. He can lie, and the next thing you ask him about his lies, then it's now you who are actually the problem, like we, look, like he did with the issue of ESCOM. There's no, look, low children's going to be the thing of the past. We said no problem. Look, uh, December came, January came, back to stage six. But Balula, what, what, what happened to low trading? Balula said, no, actually, don't ask me about this. Am I working at ESCOM? Why did you make that announcement to begin with? So I'm saying, uh, politicians lies. They, 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 they look, but there are politicians that when they lie, I think, I don't know, they don't cross the line. Yeah, maybe that's, it, that, that's, the, that, 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 that's where the difference is. is look, or that's where maybe, a I don't know. But I would say they don't cross the line. I don't know how best can I put it. But good politicians and best politicians, they don't cross the line. Rather, they lie within the... You know what I'm saying? They lie within... Yeah. That, look, I think that's what separates other politicians with others. So with Panyaz Ali Sufi, has got a way of saying things. It's got a way... I've been listening to the man. You see the, 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 the interview he did with Hasas Khan on Hasas Khan. I listened to that conversation, like that podcast, um, from the beginning until the end. You know what I'm saying? There's, look, that's why when it resurfaced, some part of it did not take me by surprise. I I listened to the entire episode, so I've been listening to the man. Um, and we look even with other conversations he was having in general, but I did not pay attention to the man. That's a different, right? I've listened to the man. I did not pay attention to the man, but this one. Could truth be told from where I'm seated, I, for me, I feel like I, the man is ready for the presidential seat. Considering the fact that we don't have, we have a man on that seat who does not know what to do in that position. He's not a born leader. I think this one can fit perfectly. And I've heard other people saying, Andi uh, Lungisa will be the deputy president. Um, yes, I've heard people saying along those words, Uguti. The local uh, local Lungisa will be the deputy president of this country, and the uh, oh, look, oh, 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 premier 
or oh, look how the premier will be the president what, what's your take what do you make of such statement when uh, i'm sure okay, those who've got presidential ambitions they kind of feel like oh, why people are recommending that one uh, what's your take with such statements where people are saying this one president of this country uh when deputy president of this country right where do you live Lindu Sisulu then <laughs> obviously i'm just saying i'm just saying right where do you live Lindu Sisulu? what do you take about it what do you say about her <laughs>